Hi there. Um, today we're in the frog collection and I'm here with Marco, who's one of our scientists. And we're talking all about wood frogs. If you haven't seen our video that's about wood frogs, please do check it out. Um, but yeah, we're going to dive a little deeper today. Um, so Marco, can you tell us a bit more about the special antifreeze properties that wood frogs have? So yeah, uh, these wood frogs are very particular. They essentially survive these very stiff winters, uh, especially like in places like Canada, for example, uh, by um, essentially letting themselves be frozen completely. And how do they do that? Uh, so they do that because uh, they can essentially flood their bloodstream with uh, this uh, glucose like sugar. Uh, that uh, they use to prevent the formation of big ice crystals that will damage their cells uh, and their tissues. Uh, and so by doing this, they essentially prevent uh, this damage that would happen to any other animal that would normally freeze. Hmm. And do they, is it a sort of form of hibernation? Like, do they yes, shut yes. down? Yes, they shut down. It's like a, something very close to what would you would imagine hap would happen in like in a science fiction novel when you get like you know the astronauts getting completely flesh frozen. Mm -hmm. It's kind of the same thing. Okay, interesting. So, where in the environment do they do this freezing? Obviously, it probably makes them kind of vulnerable, but yeah, whereabouts are they so, when they do it? So, differently from most frogs, uh, which essentially survive winter by uh, hibernating uh, inside this, uh, like these ponds, mm -hmm. uh, these wood frogs adopt a completely different strategy because uh, instead of doing so, they uh, freeze themselves under leaf litter. Uh, and essentially this makes it so that when uh, spring comes, so they actually have, uh, like, it's, it's easier for them to actually uh, get access to all of the resources that they need. And uh, it also prevents um, like them from actually completely getting uh, frozen solid in the water and, uh, and not having access to enough oxygen in the water as well. Uh, in addition, there is another reason why they might do this is because uh, if uh, uh, like a frog in a big pond, for example, has to survive uh, during winter, actually not all the, fro uh, not all the pond uh, freezes solid, right? And so the frog has to actually still try to find food and resources, uh, whereas if you freeze yourself completely under the reflitter, there is no need for that. Yeah, it's a pretty dramatic strategy, isn't it? To <laughs> avoid having to breathe and eat. Um, is there any other animals that do a similar process or are wood frogs really unique? They're not unique, but they're unique in the way they do it. Oh. Uh, so there are other animals such as like, for example, some uh, like Arctic fish, uh, they, they actually do a, adopt a similar strategy. And also there's also some mammals who essentially super cool their blood in the same way. Um, and uh, of course, uh, every single animal group does it in a different way. So some animals, uh, for example, these frogs, they do it by flooding their, uh, uh, their bloodstream with glucose, but some others, for example, they have specific antifreeze proteins, uh, AFPs, that uh, uh, prevent, again, the formation of these ice crystals. Uh, some of them actually can uh, inhibit uh, the formation of ice crystals from a thermodynamic point standpoint. So essentially, just, it's just impossible for ice crystals to form. So it's wow. colder than zero, degrees but at the same time no ice can form that's that's fascinating that is very very cool they're much smaller than i imagine them being does their size help or hinder them in their like freezing i imagine like they'd freeze very quickly if they're very small uh, yes i would say this that uh, probably there's, there are some size constraints to how big an animal can be to do to be able to do this uh, and also like it, there's probably also some uh, taxonomic constraint as well mm -hmm. so that if you're a frog uh, like for example you don't uh, you don't have the same insulin response as a mammal would have. And so probably, you know, flooding your uh, bloodstream with sugar seems like a good idea if you're a frog and, you know, you can make your, essentially your blood taste like a slushy, like a swamp slushy, uh, but uh, uh, not if you're like a mammal. Uh, in the case, probably you will get like something like diabetes. So it's not exactly <laughs> that good. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Sugary blood, uh, <laughs> swampy yes. sugary blood, I guess. Yes. Um, so with are winters sort of becoming milder and less uh, warmer, basically, due to climate change? Does this threaten sort of, how will this affect the wood frogs? Uh, so uh, it can actually be pretty problematic for them because uh, if uh, the, uh, this hibernation period becomes like shorter and shorter, uh, they would have to stay essentially awake for a longer time mm. uh, and uh, like active for a longer time. And that also means that they, can, they have to use more resources and they actually have to keep looking for food even in moments in which maybe food might not be so available, okay? Uh, because the seasons still mm. are rolling, right? 
and uh, yeah, that might be kind of a hindrance to their survival. So they might actually starve if they, for example, if they don't manage to freeze uh, early enough or if they unfreeze too early. Wow, very interesting. Um, when, what survival strategy would you pick to survive the winters, if you could, out of all animals? Uh, couch potato. Uh, couch potato, is that your current strategy? <laughs> yes, yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, but seriously, uh, probably I will choose something closer to like a bear hibernating, uh, you know, with, yeah. uh, you know, just accumulating a lot of fat through the year. And yeah, then, that uh, sounds like a good, yes. that's like a fun strategy to do. Yes, yes, yeah. so like, you know, you get to sleep a lot. <laughs> yeah, amazing. Well, thank you so much, Marco. Thank you for telling me all about wood frogs and their amazing ability to freeze. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed learning lots about wood frogs and their incredible ability to freeze themselves over winter. If you liked the video, please let us know in the comments and like and subscribe if you want to watch more natural history content.